Look alive, sunshine. Today we have Iron Fist. We have a trailer that we are breaking down. This trailer dropped about two days ago, but I haven't been able to make it because stuff in the room set up stuff, camera stuff. Anyway, we are breaking it down because it looks absolutely awesome, and there's nothing less that you expect from Marvel Netflix. Marvel Netflix is what every show wants to be. They all connected universes look up to Marvel Netflix. All TV shows look up to Netflix Marvel because it's just so good. So, Iron Fist is basically, he is the last defender to come into the whole, you know, universe. He's, he's the last guy to be introduced, and that is the only reason why they are making this show. His backstory, if you think about it, is just uh, a boy leaves home, and, you know, he comes back a man with new skills, and he wants to take back his company. Sounds familiar, because it is. So, they would not make a show out of this if it wasn't needed, but since they made one for Daredevil, and then they decided we're going to do the Defenders, so they gave Jessica Jones a show, and Luke Cage, and they were like, well, shit, we gotta give, you know, Iron Fist a show now, or it looks weird. So they had to give him a show, but they did it in the best way possible, because they're taking all the good elements of Marvel, T Netflix TV, they're taking what they can from Iron Fist, from his backstory in the comics, because obviously... You see in the trailer, his fists glow. It just like you see like the, just like running through his veins and just like the coloration. In the comics, he basically just like lights his fist on fire. No, he doesn't light it on fire. It bursts into flames. So it's like I think they're definitely toning it down, which is totally fine with me. They toned down everything. They toned down Luke Cage and they toned down Daredevil a little bit, and that was just like perfect for what they were going for. So. Tony Dan Iron Fist is a necessity because he was, uh, he had it, you know, a flaming fist, so it didn't really make sense with Jessica Jones and Daredevil and Luke Cage. This show has, you know, Claire, obviously, because she's in all the shows, but it also has Madame Gao in it. You see in the trailer, like, the reveal, and she is kind of like, uh, the, not the boss, but she is, uh, somebody of higher power than the main villain. The guy who runs the company that Danny is trying to fight because obviously the guy that runs the company when the guy comes back home that wants his company back he's the main villain of every story so she Madame Gao is working like uh, above him for him but like she's really like probably, probably pulling his strings somehow to benefit her in some way but that is also just a way to bring in Daredevil and remind people that th these people are in the same universe and we're gonna bring them together soon so just look out for that because like they don't want people to just watch this and be done with the show. They want people to watch Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Daredevil Season 2, Luke Cage. They want them to watch all their shows to get all of the money that they can so that they're so they're making sure that people know that this shit's connected. The tone of the show seems to be a lighter Marvel, but still with like really like dark themes, but lighter Marvel Netflix. Daredevil is obviously the darkest you could go for a TV show then Jessica Jones is probably on the same level. Then Luke Cage brings it, you know, light, you know, brings up, you know, some light with that series because of just, like, the colors. And, like, he works during the day. He doesn't, like, live in the shadows. He's more of a, you know, public hero than Daredevil or Jessica Jones. So I think this show is going to take basically both of that because you see, you, you hear, basically. You hear the music. You hear the, uh, like, Luke Cage-type music. You hear... Just like what the show is going to be, basically. And you can tell from the music, obviously, what something is going to be like. So this is going to be like hip-hop as a show. Like, you kind of just, like, feel like that kind of that kind of music with it. So this show is going to be not dark, but not light, which is great. I hate light superhero. Not in the right situations, like Supergirl, that show can be light. But Arrow needs to stay dark like it did in Season 1 or Season 2. Flash was okay light, but it just rubbed off on Arrow the wrong way. So this show is definitely, it takes it takes inspiration from the other TV shows, which is great because Daredevil started it and Daredevil is the best show of them all. So it's great that he is the leader because Iron Fist needs somebody to look up to if it's going to be a good show because like I said, the plot is not something that we can work with to be a good show. With TV show trailers, it's kind of hard to tell what the season is going to be like because of... Especially uh, Netflix TV show because they have 13 episodes and they cut them perfectly to make sure that you want to watch the show and they don't give away the entire plot in the in the trailer. So this one is hard to tell, but it's not hard to tell because of Marvel Netflix of being Marvel Netflix. So you have nothing to worry about. I have nothing to worry about. It's going to be a good show. But that's what I said about Luke Cage. Luke Cage is a good, show, fine show. So fine, but just um, uh, it's. <laughs> 
I don't know how to feel about Luke Cage. It's kind of weird. It was weird, I think, because it was just lighter than we were expecting from, like, you know, after coming out with Jessica Jones and everything. So it just, you know, with him being, you know, in the light more and just, I don't know, it just seemed weird. But I think that now we have that in our brain and that can be okay and, like, that, you know, that can work for Marvel Netflix. We're going to be okay with Iron Fist. And I am glad that they are bringing Colleen Wing into it because she's going to te she's going to keep the martial arts in the show very well, you know, because Danny was going to come here and he just like he didn't he was basically just coming home before her like and like and just like he has to take back his company then he finds out you know what's happening and then she is uh she uh goes with him on the journey throughout the series and she is a martial artist you know when everything else is taken from her she learned martial arts she opened her school if you guys remember after Luke uh, at the end of Luke Cage like the series Claire takes a little tab thing and it was for uh Colleen uh, martial artist school so it's, she's going to keep that whole thing kind of tied together because I don't think Danny could oh that's my alarm to do this video <laughs> uh, but uh, I, I did it early because I was so excited to make it the introduction to comic book characters and like good fighters are always really fun to see so I can't wait to see like, everybody that the show brings in as like a fight because like his thing is martial arts and I love like the fight scenes and everything so it's going to be cool to see all like the fights that go on and all the new characters that come in from it. So yeah, I thought it was really cool. I can't wait to see it and let me know what you guys think about the trailer in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.